uh, one of the things that started off the week, I believe, on a sad note, was uh, Diana Chimtai, the musician who was found murdered in her house. Uh, but, uh, of course, as per day before yesterday, the husband was arrested, who is one of the chief or uh, prime suspects. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, of course, another very sad blow to the industry. Mm -hmm. It, it is, it's sad, um, I mean, locally, because then you remember also uh, late last year, at some point, she was also hospitalized for trying to take her own yes, life. Yes, um, uh, which was also, it, some, some creative people, though, as you know, some, some of them can be very troubled, and the only way they know how is through their music. But also, Diana is not the only one who had died uh, internationally. You know that we lost um, um, one of the uh, uh, legions, um, what's his name, um, David Bowie. Bowie. Um, also passed on and uh, you know uh, people are happening and then just last night um, um, uh, uh, what is the name the um, Celine Dion's um, husband just uh, also left us so it's a sad um, time for uh, musicians and um, and the arts generally but we hope that whoever it is that is responsible for the death of uh, the, the the song siren by the way on stage that woman was something if you watched yeah. her live chalele, really yeah. really like you would think chalele is kelele. <laughs> yeah you know it was this, she was really something something yeah. on that so we we pray for her family and her little girls and we hope um, god rest us all in peace it's, yeah. it's, it's rather sad mm -hmm. um i would say um and like you're saying, when uh, coming in a time when she, she also tried to take her life, yes. and you just want to read, uh, you know, between the lines and what's going on. What's was going it on? was it domestic? It's already matter in court, so we I know we cannot talk much about it. Mm -hmm. But but sometimes is it is it about fame that 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 somebody would feel insecure about me and uh, you being so famous and I'm the husband here, I'm supposed to be seen and all that, and and it happens around stardom. Uh, um, showbiz when when one party is probably feeling that um inferior in terms of uh in terms of you are famous and i'm not famous and then that's that's what people are trying to read in their own matter mm -hmm. could this have been murder could have been could it have been so domestic and all that but let's let's it's a matter of let's wait and see what yeah, i think happens. bottom line is that uh, fame and fortune are don't are not all they're cracked up to be yeah. and at the end of the day we're all human and mm -hmm. as much as somebody may be looking very happy and bright and uh, you know cheerful there could be a lot that's happening yes. uh behind well, them. there was a lot after she filed for divorce mm -hmm. and um you know, it looked like the, there was a lot of turmoil in her life between all that period of time. But I choose not to look at, at, uh, at her, her as an artist, but like any other Kenyan or any other citizen of the world, mm -hmm. right? And I just hope that uh, justice prevails. Yeah. And uh, whoever is behind this is, is a very sad uh, moment for, you know, her fans and the, the industry. Yeah, and but uh, whoever whoever is um, responsible for this, I hope that the, the yeah, long arm catches the, up. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, well, another death in quotes was uh, I, I, and I understand <laughs> that every January it happens <laughs> and this is uh, Mugabe. It's every year. <laughs> every year. Every year. Yeah, it's, it's, it's one of those th anniversary, you know, like I think it's a moment. Mm. Yeah. And I mean th those even, those even. This was uh, the messages. anniversary. Yes, the anniversary <laughs> of this There was even messages on WhatsApp that were going on, let's pray for Zimbabwe, you know, things are not very good and at some point you're almost, you know, tempted to believe. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I wonder, <laughs> well, God forbid I would not um, uh, pray for anyone's demise but uh, uh, is the world preparing us for that? Because the, the guy is, uh, is guy. quite. But staying for really long. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> he's, he's he's the guy. <laughs> so I don't know whether this is a drill, you know, for for, for us. It's a drill. <laughs> it's, it's a drill preparing for the real. Us to make sure that we are we are prepared psychologically and yeah. all that. But I I I'm, I mean, well, it happens a lot, and you know, so, social social media. Mm. No, and of course, can. we do know there are quite a number of people who've been killed on social media, several. Yes, yes. So it's not the first time it's happening. But the message I guess here I, I is think that uh, social Mugabe, media Mugabe the leads, most killed. leads the pack. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he leads he, he for most, most killed. killed. Most, yeah. most killed. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, something else that uh, was kind of brewing in, uh, and this is locally, is Willie Paul and Bahati. I thought they, they had, you know, made amends. Was it during Groove Awards last year? Oh. And there was repentance. There was tears. And they said, look, we have forgiven each other as brother and uh, uh. move on. But it seems that this really is my? cropping up again. I, 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 I just like the reaction that, that I saw from Kenyans. <laughs> When yeah. when Willie posted the entire, this is my brother, yes. and 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 this is what we did together, and these are the fights we've been having, and this is where we are, and Kenya has just told him off. Yes, mm. I mean, we, I think we are tired of all the, the, the entire drama between the two boys. Mm. I mean, they're not all we are doing in showbiz. 
Mm. Really. Um, mm. I know they have a right to have their voice heard, but when you just go back and forth about the same thing, sometimes because you want to be heard and seen. Is it, is it I, just I a ploy to now. remain uh, a, a desperate attempt to be relevant? No, well, they're, they're, they're relevant. <laughs> they're relevant. <laughs> they are relevant. You think? The fight is not. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's, it's rather childish, but you know, it's I can almost understand. Juvenile. <laughs> it's juvenile. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I almost want to put them in diapers. Yeah. And, you know, slap them right there. One of the can do what? a good job of that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's, but, we, we, we've had enough of that. Yeah. It's too now. much. Yeah. It's, I think it's too much. Mm. And I don't think we should buy into it anymore. Mm. I mean, okay. they, they can refuse, do with it now. But someone suggested that them. we just put them somewhere, they, they no. fight physically. No, no, no. Whoever no. wins, no. we move Those on. people, they are people it's of enough. God, they are supposed to be. I don't know what it's Examples. enough. Kama kuwa watoto, they pampers, wind up, they don't know I do what. See, they produce music and behave like normal people who go yeah. and preach and say, oh my God, this one and this one. Who the hell are they? Yeah. Produce Wait, music for us. Who the hell are they? Just, just produce just good music and behave yourself. And, or or, or get back in a relationship. Which one? With each other? Do they have I mean, really? They're, they're, they're always <laughs> fighting on social media <laughs> relations. <laughs> guys who are dating. Evidently, <laughs> evidently, <laughs> guys, Kenyans are not very happy <laughs> with uh, their behavior and all <laughs> that. But anyway, swiftly moving on, because time is really against us. Finally, before we go to the Pulse and the Nairobian, uh, something else that was big was the State of the Union address by Barack Obama, which, of course, uh, it was historic because this is his last State of the Union address. I don't know if you managed to watch it. And uh, he got quite a number of standing ovations, you know, as uh, usual. Almost a dozen of them. I mean, mm. Almost a dozen of them, but um, uh, <laughs> well, uh, the son of Kenya is doing us proud. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's nice to have left a legacy because, you know, as a first black president, he faced a lot of uh, criticism um, uh, throughout his, uh, the period of leadership. But, uh, you know, giving such a, a speech and uh, all those over a dozen uh, um, clapping ovations and stuff like that, I think uh, he's, he's done... Uh, um, He's done um, his time. Yeah. But uh, did you see um, uh, Kendrick Lamar when he paid a visit to... That was beautiful. To, I, loved, I loved that. <laughs> to the White House. And yeah, yeah. People, yeah. people were trying to bash him because he was in T-shirt and jeans. Because it's hip-hop. It's cool. Yeah. 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 And he had cornrows. Yeah. Yeah. And people were saying, could he just like throw in a suit in there before uh, hell no. meeting the president? No. No, it's no, a no. jungle down. Yeah. Protocol. Protocol. No, no, no. He was, it, I mean, it's hip-hop and, mm. and it's cool. And uh, I mean, uh, State of Union, all those things that Obama has done throughout his time, the fact that he also came to Kenya, I mean, for me, that was a good rap. It was really brilliant. And the fact that he's welcomed, I think that was the first president who's really welcomed hip hop and music and all this pop culture thing in, into, you know, into the White House. The same White way, House. of course, our person as well, Uhuru Kenyatta is also really doing the same, um, welcoming us and, you know, our cornrows and that there <laughs> into the house. <laughs> you know, right, it's cool. <laughs> I mean, and, 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 and you just think, you, you, look at, you look at the president Obama now and he's just looking so youthful, still, yeah. so energetic, and you're just thinking, if you're you you give, you, you given another time, you would still run. <laughs> and you just, what are you going to be doing after this? Will you do hip hop again or something? <laughs> All right, let's now move on because of time yeah, to the Pulse. Sorry. And uh, Stevens, this is yeah. where you come in yeah. and let us know what we're looking forward to having the Pulse today as we get our standards. Uh, we, we, we just talked about artists and, yeah. and them not making money, uh, crying <laughs> broke and everybody. Mm -hmm. but, but the Pulse has a very interesting story today, which just is shifting us from all that and says celebrities some of them are making money through endorsements and and brand and, endorsements. and, and that's that's our cover story and 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 i know uh, the panel can chip in well uh, our celebrities are are, are are endorsing products uh that were even in the past we endorsed by international celebrities and all that and and that way they can make an extra coin i i don't know if, if that makes sense mm -hmm. of it's, course it, it's it's a nice way of branding and i think this is when, when an artist already um, uh, figures out the business angle mm -hmm. of his trade yes, yes. and his brand, mm -hmm. then this is what comes out of them. Because, you know, you already have packaged yourself very well that in such a way that even corporates right. can see the way you manage yourself as a brand, that they see something in you that can sell theirs, right. which is an extra way of making money. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, instead of artists thinking of in, in of this beef celebrity and, uh, and beef you know, and all that thing, mm -hmm. brand yourself as That's a mature right. artist, manage your art uh, perfectly, and of course these guys are going to give you an extra buck, which is very welcome. And, yeah. you, and you see the kind of artists who are, who are brand ambassadors. It's not 
Yeah. It's not. It's not those guys. Not, uh, it's not the guys fighting. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there are guys who have good image. Yeah. We, we yeah. have Jeff here. We have we have the likes of Jalango. We yeah. like the likes of Joakali. Joakali. Making money on the side. Yes. Yeah. That sometimes music may not sell. Yeah. You may not have uh, shows everywhere. But you already a brand. How yeah. do you package yourself mm. as a business? Yeah. Uh, to make more money. And and I'm and I'm li I like the way the the, um, uh, the the story has been covered by Pulse. It's, it's not only artists who are musicians. It's right. generally they, we have even uh, Chef Ali, yeah. who is who is a good cook and has branded himself, has a, a TV show and stuff like that. That uh, even a, a brand looks, we have some drive force in this guy. Mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, comedians like Jalango, you know, mm -hmm. um, uh, not necessarily a musician. He has a few. He's an artist. Uh, he has one artist. or two. All right. Songs um, so there's a lot more on the pulse. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe Solo, you can take us through the Nairobian. Mm -hmm. Now, yeah. uh, Nairobi, mm -hmm. very fast, let's talk about uh, this first story. Uh, slash, but uh, maybe before that, let's touch it on a lighter note. Um, you know, the summer ban has just left the, the, the country. Oh, yes, today, the yeah. summer ban. Today is the last day. Today is the last day. Solo has band. got to know because <laughs> Solo was actually part of, <laughs> of everything. Yeah. And for those who may not remember what summer ban is, are, these are guys in diaspora who literally just come, they show up yeah, to spend they, their they, summer they they go. They, yeah. they, It's an annual event that they come um, <laughs> uh, every once. Um, in a while yeah like December, maybe December mm -hmm. and uh, you know the, and solo the, takes care of most of the, them the, the, <laughs> yeah. we shall not define taking care <laughs> yeah. yeah because we're still in the watershed <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. but, but uh, I like uh, this um, uh, beat by Salas Nechani who's actually in the US yes, right now and uh, he's, he talks about 10 ways that diaspora folks keep it Kenyan you know mm. why why they always feel like you know most of them like the guys in the US this is the only time they can come here and unwind after maybe a period of three years. Mm. And so he's talking about what, what they come and do. You know, they, they, you know you, when you left the country, there are those things that you missed and you never enjoy when mm. you're abroad. Mm. Yeah, so so they, he's, he's covered a couple of them, which is uh, they come here and they ask strictly Kenyan food. I know a couple of friends of mine who just in at the airport and the first thing even before they get to um, unpack their luggage is can I go yeah. somewhere for, for, for so nyam choma yeah. Yeah. nyam choma is definitely a big seller and yeah. it seems like in Kenya we've perfected the art of nyam choma because I remember there's a place in South Africa yes. they've tried to oh, kind of do it but it doesn't uh -huh. quite uh, no, no, it has our people it has, <laughs> of course yes. our people are there. Has, <laughs> has, <laughs> we'll have to wind it up there because of time yeah. and uh, well yeah I know there's a lot more in the Nairobi and you yeah. have uh, this capital news where you have the man accused of killing his lover yeah. uh, mother-in-law and this is a very bizarre yeah it's very, quite very bizarre, bizarre um, story. Uh, this, this guy had actually married uh, the daughter and uh, she then moved in she, with the mother she, she 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 passed on they had a baby five years old um uh, and then you know just talking about how they, they oh. got close and they okay. moved in together I mean, mm -hmm. pretty sad but the whole story is there all right, the guy is in custody already. All right, thank you. We'll have to wind it up right there because of time. Solo, our editor with the Nairobian and also a writer. Yeah. Thank you very much. Adiyan Bodera, um, pop culture specialist. Thank you. Thank and you. last but not least, Steven Zmwendo, who is an editor and writer also with the Pulse. Thank you very much you for so much. La lady and gentlemen. <laughs> Furahi day. Furahi day. It's Furahi, Furahi day. day. I wouldn't yeah. even ask you what you're doing over the weekend. Mm. I'll look at the Pulse next Friday to see where you are caught out <laughs> we'll and what you are up to. <laughs> we'll so we'll have to wind up Morning Express right here. Thank you for staying with us and joining us this morning.